Hello everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps and a new collection launching in October. The theme is villainous, inspired by Disney villains. It only makes sense that if I was going to do a really pretty frilly Disney, I should also do the dark side. I know a lot of you guys are celebrating spookier things in October, so I thought this would be the perfect time to release, well, the spookier side of Disney. I tried to pick some Disney villains that weren't too cliche or overdone because while I enjoy and certainly have my favorites of the classics, I mean, look at this shirt. All these people, really spooky, really scary. I have done my best to not only include some famous villains, but some of the ones that don't get the spotlight as much, such as the villain I am making today. Today's soap is called Outback and it is inspired by John McLeach and Joanna. Why does McLeach never make it into the top rungs of villains? He's wretched, he's horrible. He literally was going to throw a little boy to the crocodiles. Ugh. Joanna is debatably one of the best sidekicks in all of the Disney villains. I'm sorry. LeFou, you're gone. The two little eels that work for Ursula, you're gone. Joanna is the best Disney villain sidekick. She is. She's hilarious. She's very intelligent. Well, Sort of. She's wicked to her core. She's perfect. So in this layered soap, she has her own two special layers right through the middle of our Australian Outback design. So without further ado, let's make some soap. Alrighty guys, we're back with the big bucket. My oils are at about 87 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a great working temperature for my recipe. The recipe I am using today can be found in the description description box down below. And now that I have the bucket all mixed up, I have to split it into five equal portions. There's going to be five layers on this soap. Okay, so we are going to have a really cool pattern for this soap, honestly. We are going to start and end with fire cider. So fire cider is from Nurture Soap. It is a red sort of coppery color. Let's go ahead and pour the second fire cider in next to it. And then the next color is going to be a gold. So this is Maya Gold from Mad Micah's. And then we have two colors that are supposed to represent Joanna. I have Blue Tide mixed with hydrated chrome green. One of them I'm going to lighten with titanium dioxide and the other one I'm not going to lighten at all. So I'm gonna remove the buckets I'm not ready to use yet and put them in order on my counter. And now I am going to add the same fragrance soil that we used in Kenny's Dunes of Egypt soap. Let's mix it up. Awesome, awesome. Everything looks good. That is the perfect color. All right, let's pour it into our mold. So I tried to mix this up a lot so that it would set up quickly. Whenever you have five layers to do, it's good to not have to wait around for them. And I'm gonna scrape out this bucket really, really well. Wow, that's still really runny. I think I'm gonna be waiting a while. Okay, so to save us a little bit of time, I already textured this first layer. It's gonna look very similar to the Be Kind soap. So when I'm pulling everything this way for the first layer, I'll pull everything this way for the second layer, and it'll look kind of effortlessly mountain rangy. That's the way I would describe it. It won't look exactly like a mountain range, but it will give you sort of an abstract idea of one. This looks so good. It looks like I'm pouring caramel over like some toffee or something. It's okay that there's some peaks sitting up. That, that doesn't matter at all. Okay, I think I've gotten all the air bubbles out of it. So I'm gonna let this sit up and then I will texture the top 
top going this way instead. And I will do my best not to knock any of the peaks on the other side. That's always the hardest part of this job is not knocking these little peaks. Okay, time to make some mountains going in the other direction. So this time, again, I'm gonna try to be really careful. I'm sort of mapping out right now where I need to pull from that I don't think I will hit anything. Oh, what a crime. See, look, I pulled a tip off of that one, so I'm gonna go in a little more. Hopefully I can avoid it this time. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull kind of big on this side. Ugh, I can see I'm, I'm whacking some of those mountains, but local, lucky for me, it's not that big a deal. Like I said, I'm just trying not to make the mountains look like they're, you know, blowing away. <laughs> Okay, doing a little better with this next one. It's it's coming over pretty good. Someone asked me in the comment section the other day how I came up with this design. I don't remember. I really don't. I liked the look of that dress whenever I made the Be Kind soap. And I think I was just experimenting and hoping this would work. Okay, I'm not gonna touch anymore. I know I'm just gonna mess it up if I do. All right, Joanna's lighter blue kind of green belly color <laughs> is next. It's kind of hard to tell if she's more blue or more green. I personally think she's a little bit more blue. So that's what I'm going with. I also think those colors will very much complement the ones in the soap. Had to add a little bit more hydrated chrome green to get this color, but overall I'm really, really pleased. So I think McLeach is one of the absolute worst Disney villains because he's so believable. It very much feels like he could really exist and that he could really do some damage. Also for this layer, I am not going to do it as deep as I did the other layers. As we go up, I want to gradually get a little bit softer. Now, Joanna's just hilarious as a sidekick. She's so funny. She's not that menacing unless she growls. Then she's, you know, terrifying and please get out of the way. As you guys know one of my best friends. I really only have two close friends. I have Caroline and then I have Joanna who uh, honestly at this point she's been my friend for like years too. I've known Joanna since I was 13 or so and then I've known Caroline ever since she was born. So I've known both of them uh, longer than 15 years. So a really long time. They are my pals. They are my good friends and they're kind of like my only two good friends. And that I'm very happy about by the way. It's funny because I, I love people. I love to talk to people when I go out, but I'm not, I don't need that many people. I know a lot of people like want to surround themselves with just people after people after people, but I, I have found myself content with much less. All right, here comes the darker blue that I didn't lighten with any of the TV. This looks so good. I'm thrilled to death. So yeah, anyways, I feel like in high school, there's like a lot of pressure to have like tons of friends and be popular. And to be popular, you have to have tons of friends. But as I've gotten older, I've just found that it's like, I would much rather be extremely close and know the friends that I have very well and very intimately than to have a whole bunch of people that I don't really know that well. Essentially just a whole bunch of acquaintances. And I know there's different levels of friends and I obviously have other friends that are not as close and I can't talk to about everything, but I don't feel a pressure anymore to hang out with those people. And it feels like they don't really feel a pressure to hang out with me anymore either. There wasn't any falling out. It was just, you grow and you go separate ways. And when you're in a busy adult, especially those of us who have small businesses, a lot of your time is going to your company and your immediate family members. Hold on, let me tap this down and then I'll continue my rant. And what's kind of funny now is that both of my bestest friends, Caroline and Joanna, actually work for Royalty Soap. So y'all know Joanna does customer service and Caroline is helping me with some of my scheduling and keeping all of my sponsorships in alignment. So Caroline's and Joanna's jobs are both remote and we get to talk multiple times a week. And Joanna is actually moving really close to me, like really, really close to me. She was about 
an hour away before. Both of them are. Both Caroline and Joanna live about an hour away from me, but now Joanna's moving to my town, so I'm thrilled to death. So the big long-term plan is to have Caroline move out here too. That is like my heart's desire. We used to live right next to each other. I mean, we could ride our bikes to each other's house when we were children, and that was the ultimate. And so at the beginning of this year, like at the very, very, very beginning, we were just talking about like our five year goals. And one of Caroline's was like to come out to the country. Her parents are really good friends with my parents and all their kids are out of the house. So we're like trying to find places for them to live. There's just a draw to the country life right now, I feel especially. All right, final layer. We've got another layer of copper. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, I'm going to move this around gently. It is going to be a textured top, but I kind of want to make sure that it's even. So I'm going to tap it down on the ground, let it level itself out a little bit, and then we'll texture. I also want to try something that I've been wanting to try for a while, which is to take some mica and just like tap it on the top like so all over the place obviously this is the fire cider it's the same color but i'm also going to take some of the aztec gold and a little bit of king tut this is the lightest color then i'm going to take my spoon i'm going to spritz it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and i'm going to smear it across the top yes what i wanted to have happen is happening so it's kind of pulling the mica all around. It's hiding little pieces of it. It's putting this sort of shimmer on the top because I'm just pulling it so that hopefully there will be little bits of mica craters kind of. I definitely think that the gold and the yellow look the best. Also, I don't want any of that blue showing, so I'm not gonna move it too much on top. Okay, I'm also going to take a little bit of the Aztec gold mixed with a little bit of the King Tut and put it on the top. I'm gonna go in again and kind of move this around so that we can get a little bit more gold color. I'm also kind of mixing it in with the top a little bit so it's not just like, woo, a big gold spot. You see, I'm kind of like flipping over the color here. Whoops, stirred up a little bit of the blue. Gotta cover that up. All right, put a few more over this way. And that's it, I think we're done. Spritz this top with rubbing alcohol to lock it all in and I will bring you guys in for a close up. What if I brought this up to you? Ooh, okay, we'll be back in 18 to 24 hours to split the slab and cut the slab into lows after this quick commercial break. Ooh, that's so heavy. All right, see y'all in a minute. <laughs> Look at those poppin' colors. I'm so glad I decided to add some more of that hydrated chrome green because it brought those two blue layers to the next level. So I'm gonna line this up with my soap cutter, Natasha, and we're going to press down. This is still quite sticky, so pretty easy to cut. I'm gonna pull two out of the middle because why would we pull them from anywhere else? And this is what it looks like on the inside. So we've got sort of the outbacky looking mountain range. I'm really, really pleased with how this turned out. It smells so good. It's got major, major sandalwood vibes. Oh yeah, this is so cute. And these are gonna make some beautiful samples because every single bar has some of the five colors. Oh, it's so great. And also these Joanna colors, 
Perfect. Well, guys, do you think I did McLeach and Joanna justice with this design? You'll have to let me know by commenting down below. And the question of the day is, have you ever been to Australia? My dad has been to Australia. He was a baseball player in high school and they had something called the Palomino World Series in Australia. So he got to go there for a week and said that it was beautiful and that there were kangaroos on the golf course and they were scary. <laughs> Do you love it? This blue is so good. I'm gonna have to remember this for future batches to anchor blue tide with a little bit of hydrated chrome green because it is just chef's kiss. Also, this might be my favorite smell of the lineup. Some of the rest of them are really good though too. And I always say that and then y'all make fun of me in the comments and we'll be like, she always says it's her favorite, but she says that for everyone. So how can it be her favorite? Because they're all my favorite. Anyway, this soap will be available to purchase on October 3rd if you're interested and if not I don't care thanks for watching this video basically I'm here on YouTube making soap for your entertainment if you had asked me as a child if this is what I was going to be doing for my career I probably would have cried <laughs> I wanted to be a ballerina, what can I say? These legs were never destined for ballet. <laughs> Jokes aside, I'm glad I could entertain you this day. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, like scuttling on out into the blasted heat if you're in Texas, or actually I think it's winter in Australia right now. Bizarre, bizarre to me that their summertime is around Christmas. That would make me so sad. Or perhaps settling in to watch your favorite rescuer movie, which is your favorite, The Rescuers or The Rescuers Down Under. Both are so good. If you haven't seen those movies, highly recommend The Rescue Aid Society. It, it, they make the world a better place. If I, those, that would fix the world. If we had the Rescue Aid Society, I have no doubt we would get everything accomplished necessary. Either way, just be sure you do something fun for yourself and I will see you over on Instagram and the TikTok. I try to post a lot on TikTok, but every time I go over there, I see all of these beautiful people doing some really mediocre dance moves, but they're not that mediocre because I still can't do them. And I feel completely inadequate. I believe I have finally gotten old enough that I'm just going to shrink into grannydom and let the kids take over all the new technology. I don't know. I might post some more there. We'll see how I feel. And until the next video, have an absolutely royal day, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Yeah.